It's Dake's wake. It's Dake's wake. What's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to talk about my NHL 2022 playoff preview. First up, Boston versus Carolina. The Canes swept the season series against Boston, outscoring them 16-1 to in the process. Canes and Bruins ranked number one and three, respectively, in shot suppression per game. They, they allow the fewest shots on net per game. They're very good at this. I don't expect a whole lot of shots. I'm not saying there won't be a lot of goals because the goaltending could be questionable for both these teams. But I don't expect to see a ton of shots in this series. Who will get the better goaltending? I think Florida has a little bit more experience. Freddie Anderson, I know he might not play the first game or two, but I still think that experience could play a big factor. Boston was a wild card team this year. Carolina has played really well. I think they carry it on. I give the kids the Canes, sorry, a slight edge defensively as well as in net. I think that that gives Carolina enough to pull off the series in six games. Penguins versus the Rangers. Rangers, goaltending again. Shesterkin, will he win the Vesna this year? That kid has been absolutely fucking fantastic all season long since he's been starting for the Rangers. Melkin, Crosby, always a big question mark with their age, their health. How long can they keep this going? They're definitely a perennial playoff team, perennial all-star players in the NHL. I just think that age and time have caught up to them. They got to go up against Panarin, Zabinajad, Kreider. Kreider, what did he have? 52, 53 goals on the year this year. The Rangers were top two in goals. or They, they had an amazing offense this year. And maybe it was goals. No, it was goals allowed. The Rangers were second in. Sorry, not goals for. Again, to Shesterkin. And I, I think that's just enough. They, the Rangers have taken three in a row from Pittsburgh. The Penguins won the first matchup of the season. I think the Rangers are a much better team in this matchup. I don't think Pittsburgh can keep up with New York in this series. I think they will have enough experience. Just Crosby and Melkin are enough to make this series extend past a sweep or five games, in my opinion. I like the Rangers in six in this one. Nashville, Colorado. Wow. I think this is the only series you're going to see a sweep, and I don't have much to say. You got Yossi and Makar, two Norris finalists play going up against each other in this series. That's about the best thing to come out of this series. I, I, I think Kadri, I think McKinnon, I think all the boys up front for Colorado are going to get the job done. I... I, I just think Colorado's been unstoppable most of the year. I've had money on Colorado to win the Cup since before the season started. Hell, since the since last Stanley Cup ended, I put money as soon as I could on Colorado to win the Cup this year. I also did that with Florida Panthers. So there's a little hint to two teams I like going forward. I, th I like Colorado in five. I think Nashville might steal one here, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Avalanche swept them. Dallas versus Calgary been so long since the Canadian teams made it to the since the Canadian teams won the Stanley Cup final 1990s guys come on Calgary you're giving me hope this year the way you played Goudreau, Kachuk, Lindholm, Mangiapane like just all had career years for Calgary this year I hope you can continue that and extend that into the playoffs and make a deep run for all of us all of us Canadian hockey fans dying for the fucking cup to return north of the border this year <laughs> Power play, number one, penalty, or top 10 in goals per game, goals against per game. Power play and penalty killing are were the Flames this season. Stars, they barely snuck into the playoffs. Sorry, my dog's going crazy. Somebody must be at the door. Cookie, quiet. Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Into the playoffs. Stars are, they, they just snuck in on the last week, the last day of the season. I think... They're the only playoff team with a negative goal differential. I, I just don't see this adding up for uh, Dallas at all. I like Calgary in five games in this series to sum it up. Sorry, the dog was distracting me while I was doing that, that series there. St. Louis and Minnesota is the next one we got. Looking, I'm, I'm looking really forward to this one, actually, because I love the way both these two teams play. St. Louis off a cup three years ago. Minnesota, one of my favorites to watch. They, they've got it all. They got size. They got skill they, on offense. They got skill on defense. Their, their goaltending is decent. It, it's good goaltending and net for Minnesota. Um, the two were pretty evenly matched in their series, too. Two of their head-to-heads went into overtime this year. 
Flurry though could be the difference in this series since coming over to the wild he is nine and two in his 11 starts he's got that cup experience I think that's what's going to separate the the uh wild from the blues even though I know I know I know the blues won three years ago and I know that Billington has that cup experience but he's had such an up and down year there's not even a guarantee who's going to be a net for St. Louis throughout this series and playoffs. I think they could be flipping goalies constantly throughout. Tarasenko, Kaprizov. I, I think Fleury and, and the boys get it done in Minnesota. I like the Wild in seven games. LA versus Edmonton. Kings are without their top defenseman, Drew Doughty. He's out for the season. Oilers have two of the best players in the world in Dreisaitl and McDavid. These two teams are pretty evenly matched. Does Quick have anything left in the tank for him? Can Mike Smith hold up? I think this is the oldest starting goalie combo in NHL, or it's close to one of the oldest starting goalies. You, you got, what, a 40 plus year old and a 37 38 year old going head to head in this one this should be a good series i think dry and mcdavid are too good not to pull this off in seven games oilers in seven washington versus florida best offense in the nhl in the florida panthers i just hit something on my computer sorry guys best offense in the nhl versus washington Man, Washington, shoddy goaltending. Ovechkin sliding into the boards and hurting his shoulder, missing the last five games of the season. I, I just think the Panthers are way too strong. They're a physical team. They, they can attack you from all angles. I don't think Washington has enough to compete in this series. I love Florida to win this in five games. Next up, last one on the list. Toronto versus Tampa Bay. If you're in Toronto like I am, if you're a Leafs fan like I am, this is a very nerve-wracking, exciting, and fun fucking time all rolled up into one. You're so nervous because of Toronto's history. You haven't won a playoff series since 2004, 2004, I want to say. I should have wrote that down, but anyways. Oh, and by the way, Florida Panthers haven't won a playoff series since 96. I could have touched on that in the last series as well. Um, Two-time defending champs in Tampa Bay Lightning. The Leafs actually remind me of the Lightning of three, four years ago when everybody was saying they can't get over the hump. They're just a good regular season team. They need a bit of grit. Well, Tampa addressed them issues, just like I think Dubas has addressed them issues with the Leafs. This is such a 50-50 series in my mind because both teams could blow the other out. The, this is a series where you could see 6-1 Toronto, 6-1 Tampa, 4-0 one team, 5-0 back the other way for the other team. I don't think any one game is going to decide this series. I don't think there's going to be a lot of momentum going back and forth in this series. I think this is going to be a grind it out, tough battle. This could get nasty this series. I, I'm, fl I'm flipping my fan coin to decide. I'm picking the Leafs to win this, but I'm very hesitant on it. I think this is the year they finally get over the hump. I think Matthews, Marner, and Bunting, the way they've been playing, especially down the stretch of the season with the exception when Matthews missed a couple of games near the end, getting to 60 goals on the year. I think a career years again for a lot of Leafs players, much like the Flames this year. I, I love the way this is setting up for Toronto. I think they added the right pieces on defense, a lot more defensive-minded as a whole, as a team, than they have been in the past few years when they've suffered those disappointing playoff losses and gone out early without winning a round or just missing making the playoffs before that I, I i really like the changes dubas has added it's a slow process i know us leafs fans we want shit to happen now we want that cup it's been since 19 fucking 67 i like the leafs to win this series in seven games i'm not real strong on it 50 50 but maybe 60 40 i am for the leafs a, a, a lot of my leeriness is basically just all the heartbreak and sorrow over the years being a fucking Leafs fan since the 70s. Date myself a little bit. My first favorite players were Mike Palmatier, Boreas Salming, I, Rick Vive. Like, th those were my favorites when I was a little kid. Um, anyways, that's my NHL second, first round, I mean. Second round, I like the Rangers over Carolina. I like Toronto over Florida. But I'm only picking Toronto over Florida because I'm a Toronto fan. I think Florida is the better team and probably will win that series in six or seven games. But my pick is the Leafs. So, fuck it. That's where I'm at. 
Colorado over Minnesota in the West, Calgary over Edmonton in the third round. It's a toss-up between Toronto and the Rangers, so take your pick on who you like. I'm going with Toronto, and I'm going with Colorado, and then I'm picking Colorado to beat the Leafs in the Stanley Cup playoffs. This young Leafs team still needs a little bit more heartbreak before I see them getting it done and actually hoisting that trophy, hopefully next year or possibly the year after, if you ask me. I got to get finished with my NBA playoff picks as well for you guys. I only did round one, Sarah. I didn't get to this sooner. I totally forgot. I only did the first round for you guys, if I'm being honest. I like the Heat over the Sixers. That Embiid injury is just too much. I like the Heat to beat them to begin with. The Bucks over the Celtics. Phoenix over Dallas and Memphis over Golden State. Then I like the Bucks to beat the Heat. I like the Grizzlies to beat the Suns. And I like the Bucks to repeat as NBA champions once again this year. Let me know if there's any topics or shit you guys want to talk about. Any questions, hit me up. Anything, it don't matter whether it's about sports, about gambling, collectibles, life in general. I don't give a fuck. You guys have the questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. I'm getting used to the social media responses and whatnot. So I'm. it might take me a little bit to answer you guys back. But I will always respond to you guys as I see the messages come up. Don't forget, help me out by liking, sharing, subscribing, and following. Especially the subscribing and the sharing. Those are the two biggest things. And if you're in your car or whatever, check out my uh, full shows, my full weekly shows or bi-weekly shows on your favorite podcast section. I'm all over the majority of them as well. That's my playoff prediction show, preview show. Peace. It's Dag Swag. It's Dag Swag. It's Dag Swag. It's Dag Swag.